Hi friends, it's me, Miss Erin from C.C. Meller Memorial Library, here for another family story time with you today. You might notice that I am wearing a sweater. Sometimes I wear a sweater when it gets a little bit chilly and I want to stay warm. But also today I'm wearing a sweater because we're gonna read some stories about sweaters. Are you ready to get started? Let's start with a song. Our song involves waving and singing, hello, 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 and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, and I hope that you are too. Again, hello, 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 and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, and I hope that you are too. Now everybody clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands. Now everybody clap your hands, come on and clap your hands. One more hello, hello, hello. Hello and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, and I hope that you are too. Yay! All right, sweaters are made by knitting and they are usually made out of yarn. Sometimes they're made out of wool, like on a sheep. So we have a book today that's a song called Ba Ba Black Sheep. You might know that song. This one's by Jane Cabrera, Ba Ba Black Sheep. Oh look, we've got balls of yarn that are black like our sheep. Oh, we have a little girl knitting. Ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, miss, yes, miss, three bags full. One for a hat and one for mittens, and one for a messy model for the kittens. Ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, miss, yes, miss, three bags full. One for a swing and one for a vest and one for the bright blue eggs in the nest. Ba, ba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, miss, yes, miss, three bags full. One for a shepherd and one for Bo Peep and one for lots of small soft sheep. Ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, miss, yes, miss, three bags full. One for a beard and one for a wig and one for a tea cozy for a pig. Oh, look, it's to keep the tea warm. Ba, ba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, miss, yes, miss, three bags full. One for the children and one for a missus and one for a baby all covered in kisses. Ba, ba, black sheep, have you <gasps> any wool? No, miss, no, miss, no bags full. Look, our sheep doesn't have any wool left. It's been shorn. The wool has been cut off. Ba, ba, black sheep, 
Thank you for the wool. Thank you, thank you for many bags full. Sorry we took it all, sorry it's all gone. Until your wool grows back, please put these on. Look, our sheep has a hat and a scarf and a dress or a sweater. I can't tell which. And socks. Do you have socks? Yeah. That's the end. Our sheep is all out of wool. Well, just like that sheep, sometimes we need to put on extra layers to stay warm. So we have a song today about the clothes that we put on to stay warm. First, we're gonna sing about a sweater, since I'm already wearing a sweater. And our song goes, the sweater on my body keeps me warm, keeps me warm, keeps me warm. The sweater on my body keeps me warm all winter long. What about a hat? Where do you wear a hat? Yeah, does it go on your head? Let's sing about the hat on your head. The hat on my head keeps me warm, keeps me warm keeps me warm. The hat on my head keeps me warm all winter long. What about mittens? Where do you wear mittens? Do you wear them on your feet? No, you wear mittens on your hands. Yeah. The mittens on my hands keep me warm. Keep me warm. Keep me warm. The mittens on my hands keep me warm all winter long. Ooh, let's sing one more. Do you remember what the sheep was wearing on its feet? Was it socks? Let's sing about the socks on our feet. The socks on my feet keep me warm, keep me warm, keep me warm. The socks on my feet keep me warm all winter long. Yay! Good job! You can sing that song every time you have to put on your hat or your coat or even a scarf or boots. All of the things that you have to wear to stay warm all winter long. Sometimes singing about them can make them more fun to put on. Should we read one more story before we go? Let's read Extra Yarn. This is by Mac Barnett and illustrated by John Classen. That means he drew the pictures. Let's see what happens in Extra Yarn. Extra Yarn. Nope. This looks like a piece of string going around and around and around and around. On a cold afternoon, in a cold little town, where everywhere you looked was either the white of snow or the black of soot from the chimneys, Annabelle found a box filled with every, with yarn of every color. Look, there she is. It's a little tiny box. So she went home and knit herself a sweater. And when Annabelle was done, she had some extra yarn. 
So she knit a sweater for Mars too. But there was still extra yarn. And when Annabelle and Mars went for a walk, Nate pointed and laughed and said, you two look ridiculous. You're just jealous, said Annabelle. No, I'm not, said Nate. But it turned out he was. <gasps> look, he and his dog got a sweater too. And even after she'd made a sweater for Nate and his dog, and for herself, and for Mars, she still had extra yarn. At school, Annabelle's classmates could not stop talking about her sweater. Quiet, shouted Mr. Norman. Quiet, everyone. Annabelle, that sweater of yours is a terrible distraction. I cannot teach with everyone turning around to look at you. Then I'll knit one for everyone, said Annabelle, so they won't have to turn around. Impossible, cried Mr. Norman. You can't. But it turns out she could, so she did even for Mr. Norman. And when she was done, Annabelle still had extra yarn. That's a lot of yarn in that tiny box. So she knit sweaters for her mom and dad and for Mr. Pendleton and Mrs. Pendleton and for Dr. Palmer and for little Lewis. Everybody gets a sweater. She made sweaters for everyone, except Mr. Crabtree, who never wore sweaters or even long pants, and who would stand in his shorts with the snow up to his knees. No sweater for me, thanks, said Mr. Crabtree. So she made Mr. Crabtree a hat. And even then, Annabelle still had extra yarn. She made sweaters for all the dogs and all the cats and for the other animals too. Soon, people thought, soon Annabelle will run out of yarn. But it turned out she didn't. So Annabelle made sweaters for things that didn't even wear sweaters. Do you recognize any of those? I see a birdhouse. What's that? It's a mailbox. It's even a people house. Whoa! Look at all those houses. Things began to change in that little town. News spread of this remarkable girl who never ran out of yarn. And people came to visit from around the world to see all the sweaters and to shake Annabelle's hand. One day an archduke, who was very fond of clothes, sailed across the sea and demanded to see Annabelle. Little girl, said the archduke, I would like to buy that miraculous box of yarn, and I am willing to offer you one million dollars. No, thank you, said Annabelle, who was knitting a sweater for a pickup truck. The Archduke's mustache twitched. Two million, he said. Annabelle shook her head. No, thanks. Ten million, said the Archduke. Take it or leave it. I'll leave it, said Annabelle. I won't sell the yarn. And she didn't. 
So that night, the Archduke hired three robbers to break into Annabelle's house. <gasps> and they stole the box. And they took it to the Archduke, who set off across the snow and sailed over the sea. Back to his castle. The Archduke put on his favorite song and sat in his best chair. Then he took out the box and he lifted its lid and he looked inside. It's empty. His mustache quivered. It shivered. It trembled. The Archduke hurled the box out the window and shouted, Little girl, I curse you with my family's curse. You will never be happy again. But, there goes the box. <gasps> Look, it's all the way back. It turns out she was. That's the end. Thanks for reading some stories and singing some songs with me today, friends. We have one more song before we go. Our song is Skinnamarink. So we're gonna wave. Skinnamarinky dinky dink, skinnamarinky do. I love you. Skinnamarinky dinky dink, skinnamarinky do. I love you. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening and underneath the moon. Skinnamarinky dinky dink, skinnamarinky do. I love you. Thanks for coming to Storytime with me today, friends. I will see you back here next week for another family story time. Until then, bye-bye.